Greetings and welcome back to Shapes.io. I'm Catherine of Sky and I just love this game. <laughs> I love it, love it to bits. So before the episode, I was um, starting to kind of look at all of these things and see where we're deficient. And oh my gosh, we need more of these 100,000 we're needing for tier six uh, or to upgrade to tier six. Um, but these are where we are most lacking. So what I was going to do is kind of figure out where we can improve these processes and also start up this, uh, this new one, which is basically this thing with a center white circle. Um, so we can basically clone these processes here as soon as we update them and then just add a white circle into another process because man, we need a hundred thousand of those shapes. That is no joke. Um, and I want to look at these. Where the, are those getting made? So if we look at this, we're missing a tiny bit on this one and it looks like it's the white circles that are not getting delivered fast enough. They seem to be going okay. There are slight, slight gaps here. So I'm wondering where the problem is with this. I'm wondering if we don't have enough painters. Let's do a calculation of the painters. Let's just refresh our memory. We have 16 items per second on the conveyor belts and 2.66 on the painter. So 16 divided by 2.66 is six. We have one, two, three, four, five. Well then, I see our problem. Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this belt for now and just add sneaky sneaky, add another piece onto here. Let's just copy this and then add one more right there. Oh, and it didn't interfere with stuff, so that's quite nice. Okay, great. Uh, this one will go up here. And then we can do this one going out that way and connecting there. Okay, so that should, I hope, give us full throughput. These are, let's see, mergers are 2.66. Is that the same as painting? All right, so then we still need, uh, I forgot how many we needed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that ratio must have been slightly different. It looks like these are now full. Of course, we had a tiny bit of time where they were backing up, but now this is looking really great. Okay, so the other thing is these guys. Now I'm just doing tiny tweaks so that we don't have to like get all the uh, processes like, okay, copy, copy, do all the things, all this stuff. Um, whoa, what happened here? What's... Oh, that was those guys. Okay, it's fine. It's just fine. This one also seems to have gaps. We should probably look at that. Is that's this one? Yeah, let's go and look at that while we're while we're doing stuff. This guy, wow, this is just solid. Not even no joke about that one. Okay, so that's not much we can do there, but we might want to make secondary production for this because I mean we need a hundred and seventy k of this. We could replace this belt here because that one obviously is not uh, needed as much. We have we have 80k. Somebody said that at tier six, um, these guys reset or something. I don't know if that's true, but we'll see. Um, what else can we do here? Can we? This one looks like it's suboptimal as well, but we don't need that many of them. Uh, let's go ahead and build another belt of these because I think that's going to be slowing us up on the tier business for this. So let's go down here and kind of just make a second belt of this stuff because why not? We have a pretty simple setup. Looks, uh, <laughs> a pretty simple setup, she says. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Mergers are yep, 2.66. We needed six of these. Okay, so that's fine. We can basically copy the entire thing. Let's see, painting 2.66. We don't actually need this many of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine of these things. Wow, back way back when, right? Um, so I'm not gonna delete any because when we upgrade all of these things, the rates are gonna change. So we're gonna have to figure that out later, but right now we need six. So I'm just gonna copy six of these. So, you know what, I'll copy it from the other end of this, uh, this end instead, three, four, five, and six. Okay. I'm just going to copy this. We'll just go ahead and put this above this area. Uh, and then we'll add 
this thing as well, the painting thing. Copy. Uh, let's see. And that's that'll be fine there. It's it's just fine. Okay, so this thing is gonna go up top on this, like this. And then let's see. This one. So we go across and feed into there. Okay, that's not ideal. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's have this go this way instead. And then that way this one can feed like this. Wait, no, not that way. Hold on. There we go. Let's do this that way. That's better. And that'll just go straight across. Okay, I think this is what we want. We just gotta make sure that we have things in the correct order of stuff. So it looks like we need white paint in the top one and fuchsia paint in the bottom one. So let's get our painting things. How many painting things? 3.2. That sounds like a new number. Okay, 16 divided by 3.2 is 5. So we need 5 painters. Um, okay, so this one is making the fuchsia. We could use this painting mixer. Why not? So let's see. 1, 2, 3... Four and five. Okay. So we use this for the fuchsia paint, which is going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put this this way. Okay. And then that way, this paint can go into this section here to paint the squares. So squares are going to go back there. Let's see, we have square land over here. Let's just check how many extractors we need. 3.2. I think that's, is that still 5? 16 divided by 3.2. Yeah, it's still 5. <laughs> I forget. Sorry about that. Um, let's go into our chain extractor. Rotate it. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Okay, good. Okay, so this one is going to go here. Okay, nice. Good. Very good. So this, we need to mix blue and red to get purple. I've been calling it fuchsia because it seems like fuchsia, but apparently it is purple. So <laughs> I stand corrected. It's fine. Okay. Three and four and five. Sure. Oopsies. This way, please. There we go. Better. Let's find red somewhere. Here might be okay. Sure, why not? We'll just take this far, far away. Really? It doesn't fit there? Oh, because I don't have the... Uh... Now this I, I kind of wish for. I still am wishing for this. That it would just default to the longer one. Because there's really no reason to use the short one. Uh, as I understand it. Okay, one, two, three four and five so let's go shift maybe snuck out over here i'm gonna go around some of these patches because i feel like we might need them in the future squares especially since those are kind of precious to us okay so this is are gonna get ourselves we're gonna get some square fuchsia squares which is what we want yes perfect nice Okay, and going in the top. Now we just need white circles. Let's see where our circles are. There they go. Nice. So I can just copy this entire thing, actually. Copy. And just place it down over there. Okay. Take this across to there and this up there. Nice. Now then, we need the white paint, which is... A more complicated construction and I think we said we needed five of these guys so we'll just copy five of this array one two three four and five okay copy ah this is the difficult one or the I don't know if it's difficult it is kind of sneaky so let's see we need to have those colors going that way. Wait, is this correct? Hold on. Yeah, it is. It is correct. Okay. I just, um, it looked funny for a while. There we go. 
Let's see, these colors would need to go this way, I think. Okay. Sure, we'll put this down here, maybe. That seems re reasonable. Okay, um, let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, and sneak that into there. And then we'll have the green coming in from here. Wait, or do we want blue? There's blue up here, green over here. We could do green, because we have the green input on that side, so might as well, I guess. Let's see. Copy this and shove that this way. Let's see, that one wanting to go here, okay. And then blue from there, I guess. Sure, why not? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And now someone mentioned there's an option here in settings that allows us to turn off, uh, no, 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 go back, go back. I think it's an option here. Mute sounds, music, music. Um, where is it? Multi-place. If enabled, all buildings will say selected after placement until you cancel it. This is equivalent to holding shift permanently. I think we want to try this. Let's turn that on. Because I've noticed that even if I have something, I will just, um, I will right click anyway to turn it off. So I feel like I'm always on shift anyway. <laughs> so yeah, we'll try this and see how that works for us. Okay, why did that go, why did it default to the, the wrong one? Help, help. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, now this guy needs to go into there. So let's just get this into the land of everything is fine. Oh, that's a tiny bit frustrating. Actually, the, the whole angledness thing there, that it doesn't quite go the way I want it to, but it's okay. I mean, it's not that bad. Okay, so here we have these being produced. This is quite, quite good, happy, nice. Okay, shift to get this. Go a tiny bit closer there. Okay, now. Now we can go up. Oopsies. Okay, we'll go this way apparently. One there and one up. Okay, and we'll just take this across and then on into our ba Hey, no, 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 careful. There we go, into the base. All right, so what can we replace? Um, kind of thinking the circles, maybe. Let's look and see what we have here, what we're way over. We're way over on these guys, so we could replace the circles. Um, these guys are not quite double, but these are almost three times. So I think we can probably get those. Or stars, plain stars. That's these guys over here. Yeah, maybe we'll pl we'll replace the stars instead. Let's just do that. Let's take these out and have these go down and down. Oopsies, come on. Behave yourself, thingy, please. Hello. There we go. And then that way these guys can go into here and then we'll just delete this. And that way we'll have a nice double supply of those guys to keep going on there. Um, do we want to check on these? The ones that have gaps? Probably. Probably see what we're missing. It looks like we're missing these stars, maybe? No? So hard to tell, like they seem to be all no gapping. But then here we do have a slight gap. So maybe it's that we don't have enough machines here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that was the, the amount we needed. Let's just check it again. Let's see, 16. Divided by 2.66. Yep, 6. We needed 6. Well, like a hundredth more than 6. So 6 should actually fill this. I'm not sure why it's not. It seems like we're slightly short of these. But these seem to be... Well, 
I don't know. Not all of these are functioning, but we, we probably have more than is necessary. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, all six of these are functioning. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this one. Feels like we don't quite have enough of these. Game, why you do... Can I slow the game down a tiny bit? Let's see. Are there uh, settings here that we can look at? It's a key bindings... Let's see. Speed? Hello? Where's the speed? I think somebody mentioned you can do the speed, but I haven't actually tried this yet. Is there a speed setting? I'm not seeing it at the moment, unless it's in here somewhere. Game theme. No, that's movement speed. Maybe I mistook it for movement speed. I was thinking it was like, um, you know, game speed. See music, sound, saving, settings. I don't see it anywhere written on the screen, so we'll just assume not. Uh, and I guess we'll just leave this alone. It's like, no, leave us alone. We're fine. I promise. It's fine. All right, we'll leave that as it is then. And uh, we'll then start to work on this tier five mixing and painting this last shape. So I'm going to go and find those guys that we just did or that we we did at some point. Oh, let's go to the hub again and just figure out where these have come from. Kind of like backtracking. See, and these have gaps as well. We just made these wider than their gaps. No. <laughs> okay, these are living over here, so that's fine. I just I do want to find out why we have gaps because we need a mountain of these, a hundred thousand. So by closing that gap, we'll get so many more in per per thingy. So let's see. Do we have enough of these guys? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight of these. We have more than enough of these. It seems like it's feeding in. Those guys are going there. What are we missing here? These are not producing any. <sighs> okay, where? why are these not getting fed in the way we want them to get fed in? That's why. Okay. This got messed up. Ooh, this is bad. Okay, so this blueprint actually got quite messed up here. Um, we need to delete. Probably just delete this entire section here. We do not want to delete the, uh, the rotator. That's important to have. This is also, we must have had just a major mistake in blueprinting here. That is not good. Okay, so let's go this section to that section and then just copy it over. Okay, there we go. One of the things I've just thought about in this game is I really like the idea that you don't have to set a recipe for things. That you can just, like, the machine just does what you feed into it. That's kind of a fun thing. I'm kind of like surprised that this managed to keep up. That's quite cool, actually. But now we have a full belt of this. Okay, that is great. Okay, so I don't... A lot of these things kind of are like similar looking and I didn't even notice that. But it is fixed now. Hooray. Next. Next, next, next. I'm actually really surprised that it ran at such a high level of capacity before. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool that it did that. Okay, so we need to make these things, which includes two different pinwheels and two circles. Um, we, <laughs> our issue at the moment is that we have very little of these uh, things left here. Let's see, this one, let me just count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, okay, this is a mess here. I think I'm going to redo this thing. You know what? I'm going to redo all of them because some of them may have seven. This one has seven on it. Okay, we're going to just get them all off. Just going to redo them all. These appear to have five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's good. That's uh, what we want. But this is a mess. A hot mess right there. Just complete garbage there. Uh, so let's get these and then... One, two, there we go. 
three, four, five. Okay, that can connect there. Um, and then the rest of these, I'm gonna try to, I don't know, get them the best way I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's get one more row from here. Three, four, and five. So this one can go that way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three. Arr. These are not cooperating the way I want them to go. <laughs> it's okay though. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's not, not exactly the way I want it to go. Um, we could do something like this. One, two, three. Uh, and then just sneak it this way. Four, five, like that. Sure. Okay, that's fine. We've opened up this possibility for more, but to get a full belt, we're going to need four lines of this. I don't even know if we can. I think there might be four lines in here, actually. All right, let's just copy these. There's one, oopsies, rotate, two, three, and then four. Okay. So let's just grab these out. And one there and one there. I guess with some finagling we could get some more out of this, but otherwise we've done a pretty good, pretty decent job of getting these guys sorted. Let's see, I can move these two like this. So, let's see. Just trying to like pick out which ones are going which direction. <laughs> so bad. Okay, here's one, two, three, four, five. Sure. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that means we have one section left. Man, this deposit has been so used. I'm gonna, I'm kind of scared to like, if we need more pinwheels, where are we gonna find them? Oh no. Um, so what we can do with this is basically do the exact same thing as we had for the simpler shape without the circle on it. Uh, and this was our cutting array. And what we did here is let's see, let's see if those speeds are still the right part. So those are four each. And then was it merging that was slowest? 2.66. And then we had painting 2.66. All right. So 16 divided by 2.66 is six. So we would need six of these arrays. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is exactly what we need still. We still need this exact array uh, to make stuff. And we needed, let's see, we have one, two, three, uh, and four, four of these, four thingy is going into this array. I guess we'll just copy it uh, wholesale. There's no real reason to redo this. I think, I think it's okay. Um, actually we can copy this entire thing like this. Let's just copy this and let's put this out here. Maybe where we have a tiny bit of space and we can get these belts aligned over say something like I don't know here. Sure. Actually, we can have them go right over this deposit because I don't care about that deposit at all. Let's have them go there. All right. And then let's grab this and we're just gonna just take them right the way across. We will also get some, some undergroundies placed as well. So let's see, these, this is gonna have to be moved, which is just fine. Let's do shift to move this guy. <laughs> no, it's not going the right way. Okay, there we go, nice. All right, and then again, copy this section of belts and then just nicely kind of drag it along here. I will also copy the 
uh, undergroundies, because that makes sense to do that. So let's see, can we copy an undergroundy that's just like this? Yeah, I think we can. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Did I manage to make, I did make the gaps the same, except I now messed that one up. Oh dear. But otherwise my, my, uh, my sense of vision is okay. Yay. Go. Tiny bit needed there, but no big deal. Oh, this is great. This is quite nice. Adventures in copying and pasting. You know, good stuff. You go back up there, get your life in order. All the shapes and all the stuff and all the things. Hooray. You go this way. You go that way. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now, now we just need the colors. We need, um, let's see. We need two belts of fuchsia or purple. And we're going to need some white. But we are not going to do the white yet. We're still doing this stuff which um, we could use those other ones. It doesn't really matter which uh, things for purple we use here. This is producing, these, these these belts are going like backward almost when you like zoom out. So it's like, oh my God, which way are they going? Um, I'm gonna just copy this, I think. Just copy this array. Doesn't matter, doesn't really matter which array we use uh, as long as it works. Okay. So we're gonna go, uh, this is slightly confusing, very confusing. Let's see, these are five, one, two, three, four, five, just delete those. So I'm gonna just copy, let's see, copy these guys, go that way and just uh, take them this way. All right, so these guys, I guess it doesn't matter which of the inputs we use. Let's just take this one up this way. So that we can just have this one going straight like this. And then the same here, just take this one straight like this. Oh, okay, <laughs> almost straight, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, all right, and then we need, oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay, I had a momentary lapse of thought where I thought you um, <clears throat> you move the, the world with right click, but you don't actually move it with right click. Nope, not today anyway. So let's see, five, copy, paste, and paste. So these guys are gonna go this way, but I wanna have them going down at this level here. What is this a good, this is actually a decent shape. So let me copy this group of belts here. Um, take this along. Okay, you can't copy and drag like Factorio. That would be a nice feature to have, I think. Um, I think I'll take these downwards slightly because I don't want to uh, re redo this whole thing. Okay. All right, we're almost there. This is exciting, hooray. Okay. Why do these keep changing T-wise? I don't recall changing them back. I wonder if they default to... No, they don't. I must be hitting T or something. Something must be going on. All right, so let's go here. Now, tunnel time. Tunnel tier two time. We're ready for it. Oh yeah. Now then. We want to get this going on there. Take this up and shift click that there. And boom, we have our purple. So now this stuff is going to go to the right. I think we can probably do it along these same lines here. So we'll just take those up like this. Maybe I'll just kind of go this way. Um, let's 
see. Take you there, take you here. And then we'll just grip this. Nope, no, I, I want undo. <laughs> I really want undo, give it here. Actually, that's a nice feature of Vanilla Factorio that is, I didn't think I would use it that much and I don't, but when you need it, it's really good when you actually need it. So yeah, wish I had that. Okay, and I think these we can just string along here easily. There we go. All right, we're getting there, getting close. Oof. So we have the shapes made and now we just need to input the color, which is going to be here. Let's see. Let's get our, this thing here. That one goes there. Actually, what we do need is, we need to put a, a splitter in here or a balancer. So then we need another one of these guys going like this. And then we can have that one. Good. Okay. Okay. And then this one goes here. And then we need to do kind of the same thing. So we'll just copy this whole thing. Uh, no, actually we don't. We don't actually need to do that. We just need a one of these guys and another one on this side because we don't need to split we just need to send the remainder of the belt there okay and then this one is going to be a tiny bit easier well easy is relative I guess it's none of this is difficult it's just like planning and looking at it and stuff so all right very nice Okay, this one we want our three and boom and all of a sudden we have these pinwheels that are now purple oh this is great so we've done half of the process here this is so fantastic so all we need to do now is get two white circles made and then smush them together in a magic smushery <laughs> to get them into this kind of a cool maybe we'll build a different kind of array for that i think i want to build a different kind of array or i don't know how we'll do that well let's let, we'll discover something we'll figure out something but until then i think it's a good time to stop this episode otherwise it's gonna get really really long so thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.